An Iraqi American who has served in national security positions in both countries told One America's Neil McCabe that the State Department must investigate human rights abuses by the Iraqi president and the foreign minister, who he says are U.S. citizens. Antifa Kambar is the executive director of the Future Foundation, a Washington-based advocacy group focused on supporting Iraqi democracy and better relations with Iraq and the United States. He told One American News, anti-democratic forces in Iraq are taking advantage of the impeachment proceedings to launch a crackdown. I think this impeachment is a farce and it's uh, only causing the destruction of the United States foreign policy and the, it is making the enemies of the United States happier every day. Kambar said Iraqi Prime Minister Adil Abdul Mahdi cracked down on the protesters knowing that Americans were not paying attention. Adil Abdul Mahdi, the Prime Minister of Iraq, and his uh, uh, cabinet are delighted to see the process of impeachment of President Trump because that, uh, they think that will uh, provide them the fatigue of Washington they needed to stay, keep Washington away from uh, their meddling in, uh, in Iraq uh, on behalf of uh, Qasem Soleimani, uh, the Quds Force commander, and, and Khamenei and Iran. Iran's policy has been to weaken Iraqi independence and its alliance with the United States ever since American soldiers toppled Saddam Hussein, he said. Consistently, Iran has tried from day one from the liberation of Iraq in 2003 to destroy the democracy in Iraq and create chaos in Iraq and making Iraq weaker and attacking the United States. Demonstrators are nationalists, he said. Although Iraq is a majority Shia country like Iran, culturally, Arabs resist domination by Persians. These demonstrations are not about salaries, they're not about jobs, they're not about food. They are about Iraqi dignity, that about Iraqis fighting the hegemony of Iran inside Iraq, fighting every attempt of Iran to destroy Iraqi democracy. This democracy came at the expense of American blood. 4,000 young American soldiers were killed to liberate Iraq from Saddam, and it was the right thing to do. The former national security staffer to both the Iraqi government and the U.S. military said he wants the State Department to investigate Iraqi government officials who are guilty of human rights abuses while holding dual U.S. citizenship. We are demanding the United States government and its executive branches, the State Department, Department of Justice, Human Rights Violators the, uh, Division, uh, uh, the IRS, the Internal Revenue Service, to investigate Iraqi officials who hold American citizenships, such as uh, President Barham Saleh and uh, the Foreign Minister uh, Mohammed al-Hakim. Kambar said Americans should recognize that the young Iraqi protesters are all emulating the Americans who left them with a democracy the Iraqis are fighting to keep. Neil W. McCabe, One American News, at the White House. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.